All right, guys. Here we go with another one of my 2017 389 Peterbilt flat tops. This one is a uh, new color for us. Onyx brown metallic. Um, it's kind of hard to describe. It's uh, got a little bit of a copper to it, a little bit of a gold tone. Um, it's real neat uh, in, the, in the darker lights, in the evening, stuff like that. It uh, looks really dark. Try and get some of the lines on that for you. Uh, my typical setup, 550 ISX Cummins, 18 speed transmission, heavy duty drive line, 336 rear ends, low pro 24s all the way around on the uh, Peterbilt Hold Alcoa wheels. Three axle disc brakes. You guys that have watched all my other videos know that that's one of my absolute favorite options. Just pays for itself time and time again. No drums, no shoes. You'll probably only put pads on this truck once or twice in its lifetime. They're getting well over 700,000 out of a set of pads. Uh, DOT. From what I'm getting feedback from everybody, just you know, glances over, sees that it's disc, and as long as the disc isn't all chewed up, doesn't spend two seconds on it. Holland Air Slide fifth wheel, forty thousand pound rears, uh, thirteen two front axle, Hodge built quarter fenders. Uh, 30 inch deep drop, probably the nicest quarter fender uh, you can get from the factory, not probably, but it is. Um, full access package, locking toolboxes on both sides, or locking step boxes. You can see the sides polished, got them both all polished out. Even the stand for the air and electric is chrome. You, you don't see that very often. Uh, that's where a lot of guys try and, or a lot of dealers try and save money. and. Um, for not much more money, man. You can really have the best of the best top of the line. Just like these fuel caps that I talk about all the time. Locking fuel caps. It's about a $17 upgrade when you're ordering a truck. If you've ever been unfortunate and uh, either lost a cap or woke up to some missing, you know at my parts counter, those are easily $130 each. Four straps, polished tanks, 110 on this side, Phoenix LED light kit, it's all on a factory harness, It uh, there's, there's no butt connectors, there's no wire ties, uh, I ordered the truck from the factory with, with the wiring harness ready to accept this light kit, <clears throat> you just plug and play, weather steel connectors, um, don't want anything giving you some downtime. Shot inside this uh, sleeper. They call it a 72. It's it's the same 63 we've always had. They just started measuring it different. Um, platinum interior. And this one's got the Sahara tan. And storage under the bed. You can see the uh, subwoofer uh, in the box it's got the built-in amplifier the truck has top of the line stereo in it those, those panels right there are the panels that originally went behind the front fender under the cab that now have a phoenix led light kit i'll show you that here in a second uh, polished sleeper vent on both sides uh, the the door is, is connected to the power locks Seven inch polished elbows, seven, seven inch exhaust all the way up. Biggest we can get from the factory. Uh, don't know why they don't offer eight. Uh, it's just the way it is. 
big battery disconnect. Uh, it's a good way to shut the truck off. If you can see, there's a, there's a hole in the tab there. You can put a lock in it. Uh, if it's going to be parked for a while, just a little, little added extra security. Step box is polished. Air tank's polished. There's that panel that I told you we replace. 15 inch premium air cleaners. Front and rear. Phoenix LED light kits. Uh, of course, amber on the front, red on the rear. Power heated stainless mirrors with heated spots. 12 inch drop visor. Uh, seven custom roof lights. You can only get five from the factory, but when I get it to my shop, I pull the headliner out and add two more roof lights and do the custom visor. Twenty-inch blind mount, uh, boxed-in front bumper, polished surround, polished headlights. Again, box is polished. I do my little step light here. Open the door. Light under the cab comes on. Hundred thirty-five gallon tank on this side. Take a look at the interior from the side. Two-tone Sahara tan. It's kind of hard to tell. You see the, the stick on the shifter's chromed. One of those little things that that I like to do that nobody else does. Get a better shot of that here in just a second. The way they've got these hoods now, man, two fingers, you can just pull them open they're so easy the way they've kind of adjusted their spring setup and the way that works it's really really nice heated fuel filter remote lube uh, there's your post uh, for remote jump should you need to jump start it the cab the sleeper the floors the walls the ceiling uh, I've got the thermal insulation package in it. Uh, it was, you know, originally designed, the, the thought behind it is to keep it warmer in the winter, which it does an excellent job of that. Uh, but what it does better than that is keep it cool in the summer. Um, and that's really where, that's really where it matters. So I always make sure and put that on there. A little shot of disc brakes on the front here. Again, this front axle is a 13.2. Uh, just a couple hundred dollars more than a, than a 12. I uh, might as well get that extra GVW while we're here. Um, you may never need it, but when you do, that $200 you spent on your new truck, uh, going to more than cover it. Uh, fog lights, uh, again, the weather seal connectors. It's already wired from the factory. Button on the dash. Just plug it in and go. This is the, uh, safety lever so the wind doesn't grab it slam it down it's got a removable bug screen behind the grill another one of those little options that we do um, a lot of guys don't even know that is an option so especially when a flat top has a big probability of being in a in a farm style environment um, you don't have to be around that that farm environment very long to figure out that uh, radi keeping radiators clean is a big deal good shot of the rosewood on the door there 
these are the Sears Atlas 80 series seats um, probably the most comfortable seat we can get from the factory I'm just I'm really high on them right now uh, great piece they're really comfortable uh, they lean back further than any other seat uh, and the armrest adjust um, you can get it just exactly where you want it the pan the pan comes in and out and also uh, tilts up and down dual lumbar just a uh, just a just a neat seat uh, there's keyless entry not an alarm but a keyless entry Let's fire this thing up it's a a little bit warm today. Saw that 18 speed transmission. Um, anytime you're looking through pictures or if you see somebody else's stuff, uh, uh, gray always means 18. If it's red, it means it's 13. Factory installed CV. For less than the price of the CV, I can have have it installed at the factory and you get this surround uh, which is color matched and it's nice and again there's no wire connectors or butt connectors or anything it's all in factory connected stuff and uh, as you can tell I'm not a big fan of wiring nightmares there's the, the speaker for the CV leather wrap steering wheel the column is tilt and telescope and uh, the way it works is there is a little lever down there on the floor that you push with your foot 23 gauges 17 switches uh, with the screen that, that's all the gauges I can get in the dash uh, you know it's got a dump valve fifth wheel air slide interlocking diff XM satellite radio, navigation, all the stuff, uh, you know, very modern. If, if you've driven a late model car pickup in the last few years, this has all the capabilities. It'll connect to Wi-Fi. It's got navigation, all that stuff. Uh, I do the chrome bezels on the gauges. With the black seats and the brown and the tan, I didn't put the Rosewood dash in this one. Uh, but if you want it, not a problem. I've got it on the shelf. I can put it in. It's not that big a deal. Uh, and it is a factory Peterbilt Rosewood Dash. It's not some janky aftermarket piece. Um, shot of the sleeper. Uh, not a lot to it. Being a flat top. Does have a premium mattress. platinum interior moniker there that's a, that's a nice little bit of storage and the uh, controls there storage above both closets closets are big and full and uh, I've also got I've got a refrigerator kit that I can put in here that will replace either closet and it's got three shelves and the refrigerator it's a really really nice piece um, uh, I come from a family of fabricators and machinists uh, when I tell you it's nice it's nice if you'd like some information on that let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll email it to you as with uh, all my trucks if you've got any questions, phone number should be directly under this, 918-808-5638. You can call me, email me through Facebook, YouTube. If you've got any questions at all, uh, if you've got questions about financing, if you've got a truck in now that you need to trade, uh, if you're looking to add in two or three different trucks to your fleet, you've been doing this a long time, you're not gonna throw anything at me I haven't seen before. Uh, would love the opportunity to uh, help you upgrade your equipment. I'm, I'm 10 miles from a major airport. A lot of guys fly in or send their drivers in. 
and uh, I'm more than happy to pick them up and, and, and get them on the road. Uh, if you've got options, paint codes, anything like that, like I said, don't be afraid to call me or text me or email me. Either way, I'd love to help you. So we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate it, guys.